Hey, hey, Akashic Academy, welcome. All of you guys who are joining live on Facebook right now, I'm so happy to experience this activation with you guys live. If you are watching the replay, I am setting the intention now, as always, these ceremonies exist outside of time and space. And regardless of when you are plugging in and doing this ceremonial work for your own growth and expansion, it is the perfect time. There is only the now moment. So even if you are watching on the replay, <clears throat> you are plugging in to the ceremonial energy of everyone who is coming together and doing this ceremony regardless of the timing. There is only the now moment. However, I am sharing the now moment right now with Kristen and Karen and Winston. Please say hello to me once you get here. Happy Labor Day, everybody. That's what we are celebrating here in America. DC's in the house and Kathia, welcome. Um, our good boy, Nicholas, Coach Nick, he doesn't like it when I call him Nicholas because he thinks his mom is coming in the room. What's up, Amanda, Marie, and Krista? But Coach Nick is going through a very, very cool initiation today. Uh, this is Hare Krishna's birthday. So not only an auspicious day for Nick because of course Nick is a Hare Krishna follower, but he is also being initiated into a spiritual realm connection chain of masters and gurus who have come before and after him. He's getting a cool spiritual name today. This has been many years in the making. So uh, in honor of being with Coach Nick and going through an initiation and an expansion ourselves, let's join together today for uh, a little bit of an impromptu activation on this day. I am so happy to welcome the rest of you guys who are coming in, John and Teresa and Taryn and Ashvin and Joe and Christy, everybody joining in. Take some time to share this out. We are going to move into a higher state of consciousness and bring light from the Akashic Records into every layer of our energy body here together today. So this is going to be a really big activation. Also, this day, oh, awesome, 1222, we're I'll call you back. I'm doing a live Facebook, jump and join me live. It's my mother-in-law, she wants to discuss the menu for today's barbecue later on. So I'll call you back, I'll call you back, Mikey. We are going to do this expansion work together and I wanna tell you guys why it's such a cool day to do this work. Many times we are very much supported by the energies around us. So when we have a full or a new moon, those moon cycles actually support different aspects of our growth, either releasing or manifesting. Um, when we meditate at 6 a.m., 6 p.m., the magnetic frequency during that time helps give a boost to our meditations. Today is a similar day. Today being such an auspicious day, we are actually getting this boost of energy, this more dynamic expansion and holding of space. Any of the spiritual work that you guys are doing today or during the course of this whole weekend has a really, really profound and magnified effect. So I'm super excited to recognize that we have this time right now to expand. Natasha's here and Bev is here. What's up, Bev? And we're gonna do it here together like we always do. We're gonna use our breath and we are going to bring in that light of the Akashic Records through all different layers of our energy body. I'm gonna put my, my incense down here. I'm gonna get my triangle. Got my triangle for this. Got the pyramid. Okay, Anita is here. Winston, welcome. Dottie is in the house. Ilasa, Ilasa. Maybe I, maybe I said that right. All right, we're gonna take some nice deep breaths together. Let's synchronize our breath, synchronize our energy, breathe in oneness with each other. Nice deep breath in. Pausing at the top, just really honoring your breath. This is the bridge between spirit and matter. Exhaling. This is what really helps us move very fluidly into higher states of consciousness. Deep breath in. Using the breath to expand and exhaling. I'm happy you guys are here live too. Breathing again. Pull that breath up from Mother Earth. We're gonna increase our connection with Mother Earth. So imagining that, that column, crystalline column of energy, that tube of light exhaling. 
and send that crystalline tube of light that runs up and down your spine, send it down through your feet, down through the crust of Mother Earth, down through the crystalline caves of Mother Earth, and anchor that column of light deep into the crystalline core center of Mother Earth. Feel all of the unconditional love, the support, the wisdom, all of that is encoded in this crystalline energy, all available for you. Let's breathe that up into our body. Pulling that back up that tube, it's traveling back up, feel as it moves into your body, moving all the way up, all the way up that crystalline tube to the top. As you breathe, as you're pulling up that Mother Earth energy, give it the directive to move into every cell inside of your body. Maybe you want to move your body around just a little bit. As you bring this Mother Earth energy into every cell of your body, it begins to wake up your dormant DNA that moves you into Christ consciousness. Christ consciousness is fully activated 12 strands of DNA. Good job. Now let's connect into that Akash energy. Okay, so what's happened so far is we've pulled that energy of Mother Earth into each one of our own light bodies, our physical bodies, our emotional bodies, our mental bodies. All right, we've, we've mixed that energy. Now we're gonna add the energy of the Akash coming in, the source energy, mixing into the Earth, the support and love and our own divine blueprint. You guys can see this is a, it's a powerful smoothie. Okay, focusing again on that column and this time sending it out the top of your head. All the way up through the atmosphere, passing through the Earth's atmosphere, passing the moon the sun, the solar system, and the galaxy, traveling all through the physical experience of the universe, the cosmos as we know it, and coming up to that invisible force field where we're going to cross dimensional boundaries, we're going to move into the state of ether, the all that is, one more nice deep breath. Good job, and just Holding yourself in that higher frequency for a moment. We've got to adjust. We've got to acclimate to that frequency. So just giving yourself a moment to be there. Bring your awareness to all of the others doing this ceremony here with us. And when you're ready, opening up that column, allowing that Akashic energy is going to come spiraling down. It's going to move down through all of those layers of space and time into your light body via your upper chakras. Okay, it moves in through the soul star chakra and it just comes spiraling down, activating, balancing, harmonizing all those chakras as it moves down. It moves all the way down out to your feet, anchoring into the crystalline core center of Mother Earth. So together we have this powerful flow, this dynamic flow, this trinity of energy our divine blueprint with Mother Earth, Father Sky. We've got our breath that bridges the physical universe to that higher state of consciousness where we can bring this energy in. Setting an intention now to bring light, light from the Akash into every aspect of our body. So we're gonna start with the most dense aspect, bringing that Akash energy into our physical body. So this Akash energy that's coming spiraling down everyone, I'm going to use the triangle to just conduct that frequency, to amplify that frequency. I want you to imagine that Akash energy as it's moving in, imagine it moving into every physical aspect of your body. So into your skin, into your bones, into your organs, into your muscular tissue, all of that Akashic light spiraling down in, those internal organs, like I said, the bones, the ligaments, the blood cells, the tendons, all the way into like your fingernails, your toenails, your hair, moving that Akashic energy physically into any area of your body that, that you're being drawn, every area really, but if you're being drawn to a specific area, maybe you have pain or tension in some part of your body, Bringing that Akashic light maybe into the hips, into the back, the spine. Good job. And then making sure that you give that back to Mother Earth. Sending all of that energy now down into Mother Earth. Giving it to the crystalline 
grid that is a, a grid of consciousness that everyone has the ability to tune into, gain information. Hi, everybody is coming in. All right, now we're going to bring that Akash energy into our emotional body. This is into any fluids inside of our body. The emotional field is definitely connected to the idea of water, to fluid, to flow. So bringing now that Akash energy into your being, into the blood, into your emotions, in that heart space, all of that blood that pumps through the heart all of that emotional tie and connection into your spinal fluid. Feel that Akash energy spiraling down the spine, infusing all of your spinal fluid. All right, guys, I'm not going to name them by name, but they are bringing my awareness to the other fluids in your body. So with this ding of the... See, we have fun here too. With this ding of the triangle, all those other fluids in your body... Bring Akash into those. Those are sac sacred fluids, sacred serums, all of those other aspects of the liquid energy. Bringing that Akash energy and then giving that also back to Mother Earth through the crystalline grid. All right, now let's work on our mental body, our thoughts, bringing that Akash energy adding more Akashic light into your thoughts. And okay, what I'm seeing guys is as this energy is come spiraling in, it's moving through all of the stories that we have of ourselves, bringing Akashic light into every story that you've ever told about yourself, forward and backward through time, okay? Through every paradigm that you have ever believed in your life, Fusing, intertwining, weaving that Akashic light through every social programming that you've ever plugged into. Any higher teachings that you've ever been exposed to. Bringing light to all of that because as we bring that light, the truth, our truth comes to the surface. I need to relax my face as I'm talking because I see I'm getting into it. I'm crinkling my face all up. Okay, hang on. Let me relax my face. Bring that Akash energy into our thoughts, bringing that lightness of being into our thoughts too. Sometimes our thoughts are very heavy, right? Lightness into our thoughts. That's part of the, this is light that we're bringing in. Lightness in your thoughts are very important because your thoughts end up creating experiences. Thoughts create things. When your thoughts are dense, it creates density in your body lightness of thoughts the more you lighten up the more you laugh the healthier you're going to be the more expanded you will become bringing akashic light into your thoughts and now giving that energy back to mother earth to the crystalline grid good now we're going to bring akash into the light body this is a a, a almost a perfect vibrational frequency match. This is the etheric body. The Akashic is the ether. The ether is the all that it is, the space. Okay? It is the space. This world that we are experiencing, because we are experiencing it with the density of our physical senses, it seems very solid. In fact, it is not. It is very much space. If you were to compress all of the atoms in the entirety of the uh, human civilization, that's all of us here on Earth, we would fit in a sugar cube. There is more ether, there is more space than anything else. Let's breathe light, that Akashic light, into the ether, into the space that is within our body. Okay? All of the space in between every atom, every molecule, every quantum quark of anything inside of your body, bringing Akashic light in between all of that right now. We're doing it with your breath. That's the bridge. Really breathe more aggressively than we've breathed on the other ones. Breathed than we've breathed. I'm sure it's breathed. Conducting that energy with the breath, the power of the breath. 
breathing light into all of the space within our body, all of that etheric space, and giving that back now to the crystalline grid, to the collective. And we're just gonna take a few moments in silence here just to integrate and ground together. So really just, you guys know silence is a tough one for me, so here I grow. Bring your awareness to just really feeling your feet connected to the earth right now so you can get a lot of grounding in and just holding space within your own being to hold this higher frequency of light and integrating it now. Beautiful. One more very gentle breath. It's it's very important that you make this breath as gentle as possible because this is integrating the pattern of the gentle nature that your growth will unfold after doing this work. It's very important. Deep breath in. Gentle. Beautiful work, everybody. I'm super honored to come to you guys today on this day um, where we are celebrating freedom. One of the overall energies of my life, I should say, is really helping people to find their freedom. Um, symbolically, for me, I grew up in Missouri, right where the Underground Railroad went through that part of the state actually went right through the town. The entrance was through the fireplace of friends of ours. So I had a strong connection and association to that idea of moving people into freedom. I'm moving myself into freedom. There have been times in my life when I have been locked up to a lot of different patterns, to different jobs, to different careers. I was so locked to my career in Hollywood for a while because I had put so much on that. I'd moved from a small town had so many people like from my town behind me had so like such huge big dreams writing in this space i my ass was tied i was chained to the back of that hollywood trailer it took my own spiritual expansion and growth in the akashic records to shift my timeline and the dynamic life that i'm living now of happiness of transcendence of sharing knowledge and and, and i do still share it through storytelling and i love media and I love showing up for you guys in this way, and I thank you for doing it with me. But taking us through this process of freedom is an overall theme of my life, and it's exciting to do it. Again, my area of expertise is in the Akashic Records. This is what shifted absolutely everything in my life. It's what has helped me to uh, understand and be able to bring in the wisdom and guidance that's coming through. All the things that I bring through you guys to you guys here come through the space of the Akashic Records. So it's an honor and privilege to share this day with you. I wanna thank all of you guys. <clears throat> uh, sharing it with Coach Nick in spirit too as he moves through a powerful initiation. We kinda of all went through our own initiation there. Bringing in that Akashic light to all of those different layers of our energy body and our light body and our physical body is very profound. Feel free to go back and revisit this <clears throat> if you want to bring that energy back into your being. Share this out. The energy is just as powerful when done on the replay. Again, the now moment is all we have. So whenever you're experiencing it, good for you. High five. And for those of you who are ready to dive deeper into your Akashic Records, to understand what your Akashic Records are, what they say about you, and how they transform you, please reach out to me. Um, I am really adjusting my energy and my time to focus on those who are really wanting to learn about how the Akashic Records can expand them because it is a powerful, powerful technology 
that we have right here available for quantum spiritual expansion, regardless of where you are, whether you're a beginner or whether you've been doing it for a while, like my girl Bev in the house. We got lots of uh, energy healers, the Akashic Academy, another host here in the house. I know so many of you guys are, are already practicing such profound expansion and sharing of your gifts and knowledge. So keep up the good work. We are here to support you in that process. I wish you all a good day. Thank you so much and namaste.